Hello, wonderful people, and welcome to our mixed level class. Today, we are working with light weights, and if you don't have the light weights, do not stress. Let's see what I have here, some coconut cream, some cans, so we can get some cooking happening in our muscles as well, and then a cushion for us to use. Okay, like always, listen to your bodies. Let's just feel it, get ourselves feeling wonderful. All right, let's find our center, soft knees. Take that moment to connect into your belly straight away and show me that magnificent posture. Take a lovely inhale through your nose. Exhale through your mouth, tuck in to roll down. Seeing what your back is feeling like. How tight are your legs? Take a strong inhale at the bottom. Breathe out, let's stack those vertebrae. Pull your shoulders back and lift your chin up last. Inhale, exhale, tuck in to roll it down. Relaxing your jaw, your neck, your shoulders. And slowly peeling it up. Again, one more deep breath. Exhale, let's stay at the bottom as we warm up the legs. Inhale, give me a bend of the knees. Exhale, stretch it out. Inhale, bend of the knees. Exhale, stretch. And three. And stretch. Inhale, four. And stretch. Breathe, five. And stretch. Inhale, six. Breathe, seven, and one more, eight. Slowly rolling your spine up. I want you to lift the right arm, open that side line, and just enjoy this delicious stretch. Create the space between the ribs here. Good, inhale, exhale, hold it here. Oh, I love this one. I could just stay here all morning and all day long, but I won't. Come back, let's warm these shoulders, loosen them up, five. And four, and three, get rid of that tension. And one other way, let's go five. And four, and three, and two. Let's have a look at our neckline, anchor shoulders, tuck your chin into your chest, and set that head correctly. Again, breathe to tuck, and come back for three to tuck down. And center two more, tuck. And center last time and hold it there for three. Hold two, hold one, bring your eyes forward, interlace hands and give me a stretch of your shoulders, your chest. Give me a strong inhale through nose, deep exhale through mouth. And again, deep inhale and strong exhale. Give me a curl of your spine, open up your scapula and let's get that body to move. Lengthen your legs, your body, hands through the roof. Bend, curl that spine up and over. Inhale, stretch and lift. I need you to use this to wake up those abs, those TA muscles. Inhale, three, reaching deeper each time. Bend, tuck and curl, last one. Inhale, stretch, grow tall through the body. From here, take your hand, wrap it over the wrist, pull that scapula, that shoulder blade up and over. Go deep into that stretch and swap up and over. Good, we're gonna open our legs a bit wider, toes and knees stay forward, soften the knees, roll the spine down, keep that core at work and bending and stretching. Inhale, deep end of the knees, exhale, big stretch out. Inhale, deep bend, exhale, stretch, and three, and stretch, breathe, four, and stretch, inhale, five, and breathe, six, two more, breathe for seven, and one more, breathe for eight, take a moment and just hold the stretch, take note, what do your legs feel like now at the beginning of class, remember by the end, I'm hoping they feel like brand new legs. Shuffle your feet together, hip distance apart, soften knees, take your time rolling that spine up, open these arms into their T-line, connect your shoulder blade, center, chin, hips don't move, and let's see what that spine's doing. Inhale, back to center, other way, breathe out, rotate, inhale to come back for two. Exhale, rotate, keeping the hips as still as possible. They are your safety zone for that lumbar spine that we don't over rotate and come back. For those of you who tend to strain or tense in your neck and shoulders, 
Be mindful that you're not going into that zone here. You want to keep them down. Anchored away from your ears. Let's hold this next rep and maintain going to a pulse for five, four, and three. Breathe, two, and one. Bring it back to center. Other way. And pulse for five, and four, and three. Breathe, two, and one. Come back. Squeeze those arms down into the body. Inhale, lengthen out and up. I want you to be mindful of the shoulder blades. Feel them rotating in that upper back. Breathe out. Let's get that blood flowing over the shoulders, the upper arms, those upper backs. Breathe out. Squeeze. Applying that core every time. Five more and open out. Exhale for four and open out. Breathe out for three and let's open. Breathe out two. And let's open last time for one. Open and glide your fingertips shoulder width, watching shoulders and chin. Let's open that upper spine as you reach this hand to the back. Inhale to center, lovely. Other side, reach, think of the shoulder blades. Inhale, come back to breathe out, let's open, getting those hips in line. Come back, center, other way. Exhale to reach. Let's do one more. Let's anchor it in place and stay here for three. Breathe two. Breathe one as you come back. Other side. Open and hold three. Watching shoulders and two. Breathe for one. Good. Lower down. Stand on the back of your mat for me. Roll it down, bend your knees, hands touch the floor, and let's open up this line through the shoulders, the back. Lift that tailbone to the roof. Get your ears and arms in line. And I'm hoping you are getting into this habit that that rib gauge and belly tighten automatically. Support the structure. We rise up onto your toes, lift those heels. Breathe out, let's work through those feet as you flatten. Inhale, rise up. For me, the important bit is keeping your back as still as possible. Don't let that form be compromised. Three. And the warmer those legs get, you can try to stretch those knees as you go. Four. And press down. Breathing for five. And to press down. Inhale for six. Exhale to lower. Two more. Seven. And down. One more. Breathe. Eight. Give it a hold. Imagine I'm gently pressing your body through your arms and hold for a breath. Inhale through nose, exhale through mouth. Bend your knees. Walk your hands back to your feet. Connect into your core. Take your time rolling up. Good. And let's get holding those light weights and placing that cushion between your legs for me. Okay. So we're going to get those inner thighs working. You might notice that your feet are a little bit closer together than the hip distance apart. That's totally fine. I would love your palms facing forward. Connect those shoulder blades and watch that you don't go into that forward tilt position. It's tempting, but don't go there. Center your chin for me. We take a deep breath. You're going to zip from your pubic bone to your ribs as we rise up and open these arms without letting those shoulders tense upwards. Watch that chin doesn't tuck. Inhale, lower down. If you can, don't rest those heels. Keep a little bit of a gap between heels and floor. Breathe out, squeeze into that cushion. Elbows are staying straight. Don't let those elbows bend. Slowly coming down. I'm showing you from the side. What I don't want to see is that disconnect into those lower spines. All of you are core strong to not go there. Connect your rib cage, your belly. And slowly lower. Six more, breathe out, watching those knees don't start to bend, hold. And come down, exhale for five, lifting from underneath those arms. Inhale to lower, four. Breathe out, feeling that work through your feet, your ankles, yes. And come down, sexy legs, here we come. Exhale to lift up, magnificent arm postures. And come down, deep breath. Exhale, I should be able to come and give you a little push, but you are so stable in that position, you don't even move. And come down. 
Exhale, let's rise up tall through your ceiling. Now I'm gonna give you a challenge. Can you find your balance? Exhale, squeeze into that cushion, activate your inner thighs, your calves, your bums, your hamstrings are all working. From here, we lower the arms halfway and lift. Inhale, lower, exhale, lift. If those necks are starting to strain, keep those lines lower. Inhale, down, exhale, lift. Inhale, lower, listen to that body. Five more, and up, breathe down, and up. Inhale, lower, and two to go, lower. Now, if you've reached your maximum, you think I'm crazy already, rest. If you can join me for a little bit of a deeper position, arms stay anchored, heels, pulse, and two, yes, three, hello, strong ankles, here we come. Give me five more, and four, and three, and two, and one, and hello, body. Are you warm? Okay, taking that as a yes, Robs, I am. All right, staying in that position, we're just gonna soften the knees slightly, tuck your tailbones, and with those weights, we breathe out as you float your arms into your frontal raise, watching that that trap line does not connect. Keep that out of it. Inhale, lower. I want you to be mindful here of those collarbones. Keep them open all the way. So shoulder width, inhale, come down. If those weights are too heavy for you at any point, you drop them. I promise you it is as effective working without the weights, but adding that own body resistance, lift and come down, showing you from the side, avoiding that disconnect forward, no round position, open that upper back. So there's as much work happening in your shoulder blades. That is what's keeping those shoulders placed perfectly. Watching those chins don't tuck as you lift. Inhale, come down, give me three more. Exhale, lift, and come down, two. Exhale, two, lift and come down, last one. Breathe out to lift, holding here. From here, we're gonna rotate our palms and down. Let's go two, make sure you're working from the shoulders, not the wrist. Three, if those necks are starting to go, mm, not loving, drop it lower and down. Give me six more and down. Getting those shoulders stabilized and muscles saying hello, five more. And down, breathe, four, I may have added a rep, sorry, but not sorry, three, and down, breathing, two, and down, last time, for one, and down, check your chin, your neck, your shoulders, and give it a shake out, yes, turning to your side, all right, from here, you're going to be pulling your hips back, squeezing into that cushion, we're moving into a Pilates squat, I want those triceps and shoulder blades connected. Please look, we are not here. Can you see how much pressure is on my kneecaps in that position and my back is kind of doing this weird thing which we don't want to do. So you want to pull the pelvis, knees up behind toes, your ribs, your bellies are tight. Get that straight line from tailbone to your head. Slowly bringing it up, right? Again, breathe that. Imagine I'm pulling your hips back. Get deep, you wanna feel your inner thighs, your thighs, your bum. Check the shoulder blades are connected. And slowly lift. Be cautious here that your upper body's not doing all the work here. Bend those legs, get down, hold, yes. And slowly come back. And bring in your awareness into your knees. If anyone's feeling strained, don't go too deep. Listen to your body here. And come back, let's do five more. Pull those hips back, squeezing into that cushion, inner thighs are working. And control it up. Breathe out, pull those hips back, squeeze thighs, inner thighs, bums, hamstrings. And lift, deep breath. Exhale, get down, hold. And to lift two. Breathe out, stick that bum out, lead with that tailbone. And last one, let's stay here. Let's get down and hold this position. Now keep those thighs working. Float your hands down like so, watch the shoulders, don't tilt forward. And we're gonna bend those elbows, squeeze those shoulder blades, triceps. Inhale, stretch. Exhale, squeeze it back. 
Make sure that lower back is flat, not curled. Stick that bum out. Three. Inhale, stretch. Exhale, four. Inhale, stretch. Breathe for five. Watching those shoulders don't round forward. Six. And come down. Breathe for seven. Inhale, lower. Exhale, eight. These are posture muscles at work. Breathe for nine. Now that body's needing a break. Give it a shake out of breather. If you can continue for another tricep set, stay with me. Elbows stay lifted, collarbones open, chin lifted. Let's squeeze that back of the arm. Inhale, bend. Don't let those elbows move. Inhale, breathe out three. Check those legs are still powered up. Breathe four. The ribs and bellies are working. They are your support. Five more. Inhale, stretch those arms fully. And three. Exhale, squeeze. And in. Breathe for two. And last time for one. Yes. And come back. Relax. Now I know you are warm. Drop that cushion out your way. And let's take a nice big step forward with your back leg. Big step back with that front leg. Up on your toes. Making sure toes, knees and hips are facing forward. Don't let that back leg turn out. I would love you to have palms facing forward. Elbows stay close to you and proud chest line. So open the collarbones and center your chin. We breathe out, bend both knees. With our Pilates lunge, I wanted a downward movement, not a forward movement. So zip from that pubic bone to belly. Slowly come back up. Listening to your knees here, not going too deep that you feel strain. But I want you going to your maximum and come back. The best thing about this work is that we are strengthening downwards. Feel that work, but also strengthening up. Hello, double benefit. Yes, please. Exhale, lower. Watching knees are behind the toes always. And come back. Keeping that magnificent posture with your chin, neck and shoulders. And come back, watching that back foot does not turn out. The second you let that happen, you can compromise that kneecap placement. Exhale to get down. And slowly up. We're going to stay here at your body's maximum. So listen to what that range is. Bicep time. Resist your hands up. Inhale lower. Watch those elbows don't move. They stay still, squeeze our biceps, three. Inhale, watching chin, breathe, four. Inhale, exhale, five. Make sure that back knee stays bent, breathe, six. And down, exhale, seven. Inhale, lower, and eight. And down, breathe, nine. If after 10 you've reached your maximum, rest if you can advance and join me for a little move. Pulse arms and knees go deep, 10. And nine, add that pan. And six, breathe, five. And four, should be feeling it. Three, and two, and one. And hello, body. But in the best kind of way. Shall we swap it out? I think so. Let's go. Swapping those legs. Big wide stance. I want that balance to be tested. Check your back foot, knee and hips facing forward. This time, palms are facing in, elbows are still going to stay hooked. And breathe out, let's lower down. Always using the first rep to just get that knee placement right. Slowly come back up. You don't want to rush the lunges. You want to make sure the power muscles are at work and no momentum. And slowly lift. Lunges and squats are often done incorrectly, which can strain your lower backs. Strain those knees, which we don't want, yeah? Breathe out. So you're teaching and conditioning your body to do this perfectly. And come back. Bring your awareness now into your ribs and your belly zipping in. And come back. Breathe out. Check your chin, neck, and shoulders. Just by placing that correctly, you are strengthening your posture. Exhale, three. And we come back. Exhale through your mouth, two. Are we ready? Let's get down. Listen to your knees, your spine. Stay where it feels good but challenging. Palms face in, bicep curl. One. 
These are our hammer curls. Exhale, two, squeeze those biceps. And three, check that back knee stays bent. And four, yes, thank you. Let's go five. Inhale, breathe, squeeze, and down. And four more, and lower. Breathe out, three, and down. Exhale, two of you rested after this set. Do the same if you join me for those pulses. Let's go deep, guys. And two, hello, multitasking. I'm proud of you. Let's go five, and six, and seven. Breathe for eight, and nine. One more, breathe, 10, and wow, za. Now that is what I call a full body set. One of our faves, hey. Let's get you onto your mat. If you need that support underneath your knees, Grab hold of that cushion, hands under shoulders, knees under hips, and let's take a moment to just see what our spines, our neck and shoulders feeling like. Inhale very gently, take it through your release. Again, breathe out, staying really strict with form, not letting those elbows move at all. They stay anchored in their position, watching that you do not Collapse into your neck, into your lower spine. You wanna peel the shoulder blades apart and slowly release. One more, let's stay here. Push the mat away as you deepen your upper back stretch. Just give me another core breath in this position. And then let's stretch it out, toes together, knees apart. Reach your fingertips forward. And imagine I'm gently pressing up and down your back, giving you that deeper stretch. Some of you might be getting the hips opening up. That's great. You might feel more underarm than shoulders. It's going to zone those very tight areas. We always want to open that side line as you walk hands one way and just hold for three. Anchor your bum down, two, and one other way. Let's walk and hold for three and two and one. Lovely. Slowly roll your spine. One vertebra at a time. If you need to give those wrists a little bit of a loop to get some blood flow over that wrist joint, please do. Grab hold of your one weight, your can, if you're using a can here. And let's get hands under shoulders, knees under hips. For the gentle option, if you want to just focus on your arm movement, your opposite leg's going to stay on the ground for the set. If you are joining me for advance, you're going to be lifting the leg with the body. Either way, guys, watch where your hips are going. Don't forget that tilt up pubic bone to belly, shoulders away from ears, eyes are forward, and that is anchored. We're going to breathe out as you lift your dumbbell up. I want you to feel that shoulder blade and the back of the arm. Have a quick look here. You want to avoid this movement as you get tired. Do not let that shoulder round forward. Don't let that neck tense up. Inhale, lower down. If you're joining me with the leg lift, don't let it go higher than the body. Squeeze your bum and belly hard. Inhale to lower. Take a moment to just check your standing elbow is soft, never locked. Inhale, lower. The only movements in that arm, nothing else to sway or tilt and lower. Breathe out the body weight here in the middle, not over the wrist, not into that hip. Five more to squeeze. Inhale, come down, watching that chin doesn't drop. Breathe out, lift. Inhale, always conditioning. When you move that bum and belly, work at the same time, lower. Two, breathe, to lift and come down. Breathe out, to lift. Let's get ready. Holding that arm up in that position, hook the shoulder blades together, check your neck and shoulders. Tiny move, Shh. elbow straight, two and three. Breathe four, exhale five and six. Breathe four, seven, deep breath, eight and nine. One more, breathe 10 and other side. Hello tricep, hello upper back. All those muscles responsible for keeping that look instead of this look. Mm -mm -mm. All right, I'm turning around just so you can watch that front arm, but you do you. Stay where you are comfy. Make sure you do swap sides though. 
Remember, gentle options, toes don't move, they stay on the ground. If you're joining me with the leg lift, uh-oh, forming specter. I'm nervous, I better do this good. All right, let's go, gliding up, elbow stay straight. Inhale, lower down, watch your standing elbow is not locked, it's soft too. And we come down. Bring your awareness now into your hips, make sure you are not sinking or tilting. Don't forget that tilt of pubic bone into your belly. Those TAs are tight. Exhale, squeeze. And please try your best to keep those chins lifted slightly, never dropping or tucking. Let's go, squeeze. And down. Breathe out to squeeze. Inhale, lower. Exhale, two. Are we ready? Hold it up, stretch it on, check your collarbones, your placement, and that arm, let's go deeper for 10. And nine, stretch that elbow, eight, yes, seven, breathe out, six, and five. Exhale, four, and three, and two, last time for one, relax. Drop those dumbbells and cans, open your feet and knees, bum stays lifted, walk your hands forward, and just give me a nice upper body, thoracic spine, underarm stretch. And hold for three. Holding for two. Holding for one. Excellent. From here, we're going to roll up onto your knees. I want cans or dumbbells in hands. Remember, if you need the knee cushion, place it underneath you. I'm going to give you a choice. If you need a bit of help with stability, toes dig in. If you don't need that, toes relaxed. Lift up from your knees right through the body to the tip of your head. Palms stay forward. We breathe out. Take it into that back thigh stretch position. Do not let that bum drop. Don't let that body arch back and don't let that head lift up. Now use your thighs, use your core, come back center. Again, we want to lift up, straight line, up and back, hold. Slowly to center, making sure you are not doing this kind of move. You're wasting your time if you're just dropping and lifting. And back to center. Four, breathe out, watching you on, arching that upper back. That's going to be our on that lower back. I don't want that. And to center. Five, lift up and back, feel those thighs, feel that core. And let's bring it back. Six, exhale, feel the rib cage, that belly connects. I need those shoulder blades connected together. Let's go for seven, hold. And come back for eight. Exhale, lift up and back. And two more, nine. Breathe out, up and back. Now we're gonna hold it on 10, stay where you can, stay there for a bit, and let's anchor a tricep time, float arms back, and in nothing else to move. Inhale, breathe, three, inhale, back, watch your shoulders, four, watch your chin, breathe, five. Inhale, breathe out, six, and in, exhale, seven, and back, breathe for eight, and back, exhale, nine, and one to go, breathe, 10, bring it to center, drop that one weight, and turn to face me. Two options for you, for the advanced harder option, you're gonna take that hand, step it away from you, far away, not underneath, and I want you to hook that shoulder down, I would love you to have this top arm bent with palm facing forward, legs slightly in front and backs in neutral. If that's a little bit kuku maluku for today, you can always go down off that wrist and onto your forearm, but we are not just gonna hang out here. It's comfy, it's tempting, but it's a no-go zone. So if you are joining me there, push that mat away, lift up in your ribs and belly. Up to you. All right, that leg and the top arm's gonna do the same thing on both sides. I mean on both options. Connect your shoulder blades and from here we just lift that leg out without letting your back move. Watch your hips. Inhale, come down. Those shoulder blades are connected. Breathe out for two. I want to see strong necklines. If this feels a little bit strenuous on that neck, you can turn your eyes to that bottom hand if you need. 
At this stage, I want to see that control in the shoulders, not letting them tense up. Breathe out. Imagine I'm sitting on that leg and you're just giving me a fun time lifting and lowering. So much fun. Lift. Feel that outer thigh and that bum. What I love about this set is that that underneath leg is working just as hard. Those stabilizers. Lift. Make sure that hand's away from you, not directly underneath you. Two. Now I'm giving you a choice. If you want to challenge yourself, that leg's going to anchor. If it's a bit too much, lower it down. Your top arm, let's glide that arm across the body. Exhale, squeeze into that shoulder blade. Inhale, nothing else to move and rotate. Be strict with that elbow. If you're letting that elbow move, you change the axis for. And these are our rotator cuffs. We need these strong for our posture line. Inhale, five more, and lift. Inhale, four, and we lift. Inhale, three, and lift. Inhale, two. We're going to stay up, but I'm going to let you drop those cans down, those dumbbells down. Place this hand behind you. Lift up tall. All together, lift that top leg back up. I know if some of you had it up, it's like, whoa, I'm on fire. All together, circle around, one, and breathe, two. Please breathe with me, and three. Exhale, four. Breathe out, five. Exhale, six. Breathe, four, seven, and one more, eight. Reverse, one, hello, hip, and two. Breathe out, three, that back's in neutral, four. Exhale, five. Breathe out, six. Exhale, seven, and one more, eight, and relax. Now, guys, if there's anyone out there who doesn't feel that exercise, WhatsApp me or WhatsApp that call for phone. Kaylin's in the other room with that phone. She'll shout at me and say, do it again, the whole set. I don't mind. All right, let's see this whole thing on the other side. Let's get can in hand. Big step out if you're working on that forearm and down on that hip. Make sure that body's lifted. And I'm really wanting that neckline to stay correct. So no straining here. All right, foot slightly in front so you can maintain that neutral. Just keep an eye on that wrist wanting to pop back, especially now that we are getting tired. Good, nice long line. We breathe out as you resist this up. Those elbows are glued into the body, which means those shoulder blades are connected together. Breathe out, three. Inhale, come down. Breathe out, four, inhale, down. Exhale, five. Every time that leg is lifting, that rib cage, that belly, those transverse are zipping in. And lift and come down. Exhale, lift. And two to go, we lift. Now, if you want the advance, that leg stays up. If it's a bit too much, leg comes down. Let's see rotator cuff, inhale. Squeeze that shoulder blade together. Be strict with your elbow. Be strict with your wrist. Inhale, three. And squeeze up. Inhale, four. And squeeze up. Keep going for five. And lift. Inhale, six. And lift. Inhale, seven. And come back. Inhale, eight. And back two more. Breathe nine. And last time, breathe for 10. Drop that weight down, hand scoops behind you. Are we pumped? Are we ready? Loop de loop, let's go. H and seven, don't let that spine move. Six, sit out of those shoulders. Five, breathe out. Four, go into that happy place. Three, exhale. Two, breathe for one, reverse for one. Breathe out. Two. Exhale, three, exhale, four, breathe out, five, and six, and seven, one more, breathe, eight, and relax. Ah, burn, burn, burn. It is ab time. Okay. Oh, I was going to use a cushion, but our Joey's on his little throne, so I'm going to let him stay there. Let's not get our form inspector upset. So grab your cushion, place it between your knees. Or in fact, if I can grab another cushion there, that'd be awesome. And then dumbbells and cans in the hand. 
Wow, thank you. All right, we're going to place this here for that nice connection in inner thighs. Cans, dumbbells in the hands, glue the elbows into body. I give you the choice. If you can, glue your toes down, stay there. If it's a bit too much and your feet cramp, flex those feet. Remember, we are trying our best to get this lift up position as strong as possible and natural for you. Take a deep breath, squeeze that cushion, use your inner thighs, curl that lower spine, and at the same time, add a strong bicep curl, squeeze into those biceps, hold. Check your chin, your neck, your shoulders. Use your lower abs, slowly come back and grow tall in those spines. Can you see how slowly we are moving? So we don't want momentum to kick in, we want deep core, core, core. And slowly come back and lift every rep, go for that lift. Three, for those of you who do feel your lower back, if it's feeling a bit tight, a little bit vulnerable, it doesn't have to go low, so please stay in tune. And slowly come back. I want you using inner thighs. Squeeze that cushion, zip your belly. Those of you who do tend to strain or tense in the neck and shoulders, be conscious of that. Show me that strong placement. Three more. Breathe out, let's zip and curl. Resist those biceps. Our biceps are generally one of the strongest areas in your body. So you need to add that own body resistance to get that impact into that muscle. And slowly come back. Breathe out, let's squeeze and curl. And slowly come back, let's hold this one. Stay where that lower back feels safe. But coys challenge just these arms. Inhale, stretch, watch your elbows are anchored. Inhale, two, if you are letting your elbows row, you lose your axis and your anchor point, so we don't get that whole bicep to trigger. And we curl. Inhale, don't let go of that zip of that belly. Five more, and squeeze. Inhale, four, and squeeze. Inhale, three, and squeeze. Inhale, two, if you have reached your maximum after one, Please rest. If you can advance for one little bicep pulse, shh, stay there. To that belly's tight. Listen to your body. Four and five. Breathe six and seven. Deep breath. Eight and nine. One more. Breathe ten. Slowly up we go. Drop your cushion. Feet together. Lift up in that spine. And up and forward. Hip flexors. Giving those arms some breathing time. And yo, can you tell I'm on a full body mission with you guys? Yes, makes me very, very happy. Okay, let's get you onto your backs. I would love you to place that cushion back between those thighs. Hands in those hands. I want your feet strictly placed, feet, knees, and hips in line. Starting with your elbows down on the floor next to you, a little bit lower than your shoulder line, and actively connect your shoulder blades into the ground. Our spine's in neutral. We breathe out, squeeze into that cushion, imprint. As we lift the bum, you're resisting your hands up without letting your shoulders pop off that mat. Connect shoulder blades to the floor. Show me that curl down one vertebra at a time. Squeeze those back of the arms and shoulders into the mat. Again, we imprint, squeeze as you lift up. Check in your placement of your hips. There should be no tilt. And slowly curl down. We are strengthening as we imprint, lifting up, checking your alignment. We are mobilizing, take your time, articulating every part of your spine into that mat. Our ultimate dream and goal of Pilates is to get that balance. Strong muscles, but mobile, flexible. That's what keeps you agile, pain-free. Exhale, squeeze into lift, conditioning bum and belly to trigger at the same time. And slowly come back, your neck and jaw relaxed. Squeeze as we lift and slowly come down. Let's stay at the top, listening to your lower backs. Make sure there's no strain if there is. Your bum is too high, drop it slightly. From here, we glide our hands down. Don't let the shoulders roll forward. 
and come back. Exhale, if those weights are too heavy for you, drop them and breathe three. Inhale, come back. Exhale for four. Inhale, come back. Stay mindful of your alignment through your hips, keeping that squeeze of the inner thighs, hamstrings and bum. That belly stays tight. Give me four more and come back. Breathe for three and come back. Exhale, two. Now for the gentle options, take your hands all the way onto the floor. For a challenge, keep your hands hovering as long as your neck and shoulders feel fine. Squeeze that cushion to your maximum. Finish off with the bum, pulse up, down, 10. And nine, work slowly, eight and seven. Breathe for six, exhale five, exhale four. Breathe out three, exhale two, and last time, one. Dumbbells, arms down, curl the spine, remove your cushion, and first lumbar release. Hug the knees into the body. Open your hips up, give me that beautiful loop around for five. Letting your back to its tilt in and out of the mat. Just bringing that rush of blood flow into your lower back muscles, into those hip girdles. Good, getting you loosey-goosey, flip-flacking around the house. That's how mobile will be. Other way, let's go five and four and breathe three. Deep breath, two and breathe for one. I would love you to open your arms to T-line, drop your front leg for me, take your back leg and cross it over. Let's see what our spines and hips are doing as you gently rotate to one side and hold. Use your core to come back. Please get out of the habit of using your back to power this move, we rotate. And slowly center, we'll hold this rep. Exhale, lower. Imagine I'm very gently pressing your knees down. You working hard to keep that shoulder down. And just take a moment to note, where is the stretch catching you? Keeping that leg on top, but we rotate our legs other way again, holding it there, not letting that shoulder lift with you. Before we swap legs, I want you to open up your feet and knees, opening hip flexors and SI joint. Option A, option B, if you feel comfortable to go to happy baby, move there. Take a moment to check shoulders, chin, jaw, all of that is relaxed. Lovely, let's swap back leg down, other knee all the way across T-line position with arms. And lower those legs down one way. You look opposite. Core connects to come back. Other way, breathe out lower. And come back. This is a halt. Lower and maintain. Gently pressing down. Where's the side of the body stretching? It might feel completely different for you. And let's swap other side. And lower for three, two, one. Excellent. Opening up once again. Option A and option B. Try go deeper here yeah, for three strong breaths. Holding for two. Holding for one. And let's grab hold of those cushions and give those top abs and obliques a little bit of a pep talk because I am coming for them. Please fold your cushion in half, add a little bit of extra height. We're gonna place that cushion under our shoulder blades or just at the base of the shoulder blade, shall I say, where I always describe it as where you would put a beach chair, but don't get too comfortable. I want you to please place your can in your backhand, palm is gonna face forward or face in. Please, if that compromises your neck and shoulder at any point, drop the weight and place both hands behind your head. It is your choice. Your opposite hand is gonna give you that neck support. Your other leg is stretching out, so just make sure you have the correct positioning. Weight in the opposite hand to the leg that's gonna be moving. 
From here, we're gonna glide that upper body back. Make sure that body feels comfortable in this upper back stretch. Your hand does not go above your head. It stops and finishes and starts in the same position. We breathe out as we imprint. Tilt your pubic bone and give me a nice deep curl. Get those top abs to connect. Check your chin, your neck and your shoulders. Inhale, lower back up and over that cushion. Again, breathe out as we tilt, zip and curl, hold. Every time we are releasing into our upper back. Three, if for any reason it doesn't feel correct, it feels uncomfortable, it feels strenuous for that upper body, remove that cushion and keep it as a curl position. Breathe out, let curl, hold. And make sure that cushion is not in the middle back, the lower back. It must be arching that upper spine a little bit more. And slowly come back to more. Breathe out as we curl, trigger TX, belly and top abs. And come back. Breathe out as we curl. Now on this next one, Stay in that deep curl position. Have a look, my dumbbell, my cans just behind that leg. From here, we go up and over and to center. Exhale, two and to center. If that neck is needing support, you using those hands and breathe four and to center. Exhale, five and in. Breathe out six. And in, inhale for seven. And back, breathe for eight. How are abs, how you doing? Breathe for nine. If you need to rest on 10, please do take a break. If you wanna join me for one last oblique set, we are here. Little crunch, 10, nine, and eight, and seven. Breathe six, and five, and four, and three, and two last time for one and I caramba. Hello abs. Oh, feels so good. All right, but let's not forget we have another whole oblique side to work. So please check that cushion hasn't shifted. I just want to show you guys. Can you see if my cushion's too low, how it arches my whole upper, uh, my whole middle back, which is a no-go zone for us for this. So make sure that cushioning's correct. And let's get pumped, let's get psyched up. Other side, let's go starting in that back position, dumbbell to ceiling, sorry, leg is starting down. And let's start in that center as we curl, watching chin, neck and shoulders. Inhale, come back. To breathe our curl. Inhale, return. Three, breathe out to curl. Keep checking chin and neck and center. Four, breathing out. How's that core of destiny feeling? Five, breathing out. Inhale, come back. Exhale, are those abs so hot that you can actually break open that can that you have and cook on that tummy, it's so hot. Yes, that's a new core for goal. Exhale, lift. Are we ready for those obliques? Exhale, now anchor it. Yeah, make sure there is no strain on that neck. Let's go, shh, and Center, if you're dropping that weight, totally fine. Use those hands. Three, showing you how it's done. Breathe, four, and in. Exhale, five, and in. Breathe, four, six, I'm in this one with you. Hello, ab, seven, and in. Breathe, four, eight, and in. Two more, breathe, nine. If you rested after 10, now's your time. If you went deeper, let's go. Shh, shh. And three, breathe, four, and five, and six, and seven, deep breath, eight, and nine, one more, breathe, ten, relax. Dumbbells away, take your moment to just recover, relax, feet together, knees apart. Let's interlace our hands and reach arms above your head. And just enjoy that stretch in those abs, the psoas. Excellent work. And let's bring those knees together and let's get you placing that cushion underneath your sacrum. We have one last transverse abdominus exercise 
And then guys, I'm gonna stretch you and mobilize you so you just finish this class feeling fabulously balanced. We now move that cushion underneath where your bum and your back meet. Make sure again, it's not in the middle back. It should feel like a bit of support for the lower spine if anything. If this does not sit well with your body, remove that cushion, put it aside and work in imprint spine. I want you to please anchor your arms down in that V, connect your shoulder blades. Trigger that core as you scoop your one knee into the body. Join that other leg, your back is not allowed to move from you. Let's breathe out as you stretch. Check those transverse muscles are tight. Slowly alternate. Again, breathe for two. Exhale to swap. If anyone's feeling lower back, stretch those legs higher to the roof. Keep going. Exhale to swap. Give me four more. Breathe out to swap. And for three. Breathe out to swap. Exhale two. And swap last time for one. Our last core challenge of the day. Glue your knees and ankles together. Take a deep breath. We're going to stretch both legs out. For those of you who feel your lower back needs support, take your feet higher to the ceiling. For challenge, lower the legs down. Bend your knees to body. I want you to squeeze those inner thighs. Feel your ribcage, your belly button. Poke those TAs. They are your powerhouse. And come back. Please be strict with those backs. They should not be moving. Shoulder blades pin back into the floor. Remember, just keeping this upper back positioning is strengthening you so much that you just constantly have that beautiful posture. It's natural. And give me three more. Breathe out to squeeze. And last two. Exhale to squeeze. And last one. Hold it there for me for three deep breaths. Hold in two, hold in one, bring your legs back and let's slow this down, release and recovery. Hug that back knee, pull it deep into the body and stretch that opposite leg along the ground. Getting into your hip flexor. Good, from here, give me a circle around, loosening hip for three. And two, if you feel that cushion is not comfortable for you, you can remove it, be comfy on the mat. Change direction, three. And two, shall we see our hamstrings at work? Hands behind your leg, flex that foot, stretch that knee, push your heel to the ceiling. Check that no cheat has happened, that your shoulders haven't tensed, your hips haven't tilted. And I'm really hoping every week you're just feeling this is getting better, Getting more flexible. Slide those legs in. Ankle onto your thigh for that option A. For your option B, if you can, go into that deeper stretch. And just keep melting that body into the floor. That outer knee keep pushing forward. Lovely, let's keep that leg pulled in as you stretch the other leg along the ground. Circle around for three, mobilizing the hip. Two, and one other way, let's go three. And two, and one, pull it in for that hip flexor. Hamstring o'clock, hands behind you, flex, let's see. And I would love for you to keep noting which side is tighter. Where are you holding on to tension? Where are you stronger? Remember, mind-body awareness is your key for injury and pain prevention. Slide your legs in. Ankle on you, option A. And your option B, stretching out. Keep pushing that outer knee forward. And from here, wrap your hands around both legs. Let your lower back just melt. And then stretch through your legs, opening your neural pathway from your lower back down your legs. 
If you happen to have range to grab your feet, even your calves, go there and just keep pushing gently or pulling gently and hold. Four, keep trying to lower the lower back to the cushion. Three, two, lovely work. And one, bend your knees, squeeze them into your chest. Good, let's lower our feet, lift your bum, remove that cushion and let's get you onto hands and knees and check out the spine, hands under shoulders, knees under hips, connect into core and let's breathe out into your curl position, shoulder blades peeled apart. Inhale, slowly moving into your release. Again, breathe out as we curl. And release. Does that back feel wonderful? Breathe out to curl. Hold it three. Hold two and one. And final praying crouch stretch. Toes together, knees apart. Walk your hands forward this time. Lift onto your fingertips. Stretch those elbows and hold. Walk your hands to me and take your outer hand, place it on top, deepen that stretch, two and one, good, other way, outer hand on top and hold, three, two and one, let's return, toes digging in, I want you to keep your knees bent, lift your bum and try get your chest on the thighs, feel those upper backs, those shoulder blades. From here, slowly bring it back to your standing position. Take your time rolling up. Finding that beautiful neutral at the top, taking your right arm, glide it across, shoulder stays down, elbow stays straight, stretch that bicep and shoulder. Good, from here, grab your elbow and lift, watching chin doesn't tuck, shoulders don't shrug. If you want to add a little bit more kick, add that side bend, your choice. If you want to stay in the middle, that's fine too. Good, other side, elbow straight. Remembering with this, that shoulder will want to lift, but don't let that happen. Say, uh-uh, not now, pull it down. Elbow to lift, if you added the side bend, go for it and reach to the side. Good, always checking our neck as you anchor the hand down. Your choice to flex or place hand behind you, whichever your body prefers for that deeper stretch. Remembering this is so good for preventing tension headaches, neck strain, computer neck, shall I say, other side. Flex or hand behind you and stretch. And let's make sure the back of the necks and top of the spine is balanced. Chin down, shoulders relaxed down. Interlacing hands behind you. Open this up, shoulders, chest. If your neck allows the lift, open those scalenes of the neck. Good, let's see our spine move. Tuck, roll, final stretch as you try. Anchor your hands on the floor. Lengthen behind your knees, pull your nose right towards your legs and hold here, three counts. Hold two, hold one, soften your knees, zip your belly in and let's stack those vertebra. Set your spine beautifully, feel the shoulders connect, lifting the head, limber shoulders, three and two and one other way for three. And two, head turns to the side, checking that neck's completely relaxed and mobile. Just one more each way. And place it center for our two breaths recovery. Inhale. And strong exhale, last one. Taking a deep breath in, fill in these lungs. And deep exhale, finish in center. And well done oh my word i'm so proud of you guys thank you so much for joining all of us today all the animals kaylin daily and mwah, just so much love and gratitude always keep moving keep
keep strong, and I'll see you guys soon on the mat. Mwah, mwah.